Hello everyone. So in this presentation, we are going to study some of the important biochemical markers for the bone disease. Okay. So bone disease may be Paget's disease, osteomalacia, osteosarcoma, osteoblastoma, or any malignancy. So the biochemical markers, apart from biochemical markers, there are various other investigation, maybe biopsy or X-ray or so many others. We are only confined to biochemical markers, maybe serum markers or from the urine. So they are broadly classified into two categories. That is markers for bone resorption. We studied what is bone resorption and bone formation. Okay, there is continuous bone formation and there is bone resorption. This bone resorption is mainly by osteoclast, osteoclast, whereas bone formation is mainly by osteoblast okay so coming to the markers of bone resorption so we know that 99 percent bone matrix is made up of collagen and non-collagen protein okay the 99 percent of collagen protein is type 1 collagen okay? when bone is continuously resolved in any disease definitely there is collagen will be degraded the Products of the collagen can be measured in both in serum as well as urine. Such products they have discovered uh, in the serum or urine of those patients who are suffering from bone disease that is telopeptides, telopeptides and pyridium crosslinks, pyridium, pyridinium crosslinks, pyridinium crosslinks. Okay and hydroxyproline hydroxyproline so all these are nothing but the products of products of collagen metabolism when bone is continuously resolved there will be resorption or destruction of the bone definitely there is metabolism or catabolism or breakdown of collagen so these collagen their products are called telopeptides again they contain n terminus and c terminus I'm not going to in detail and this is kilopeptide is nothing but a products of collagens similarly pyridium crosslinks again it is a product of collagen which contains lysine and hydroxyproline all this we can measure in the serum as well as in the urine okay similarly markers for bone formation are bone alkaline phosphatase the purpose of this presentation is mainly to focus on this alkaline phosphatase, bone alkaline phosphatase. We learned in biochemistry of bone and cartilage in that we know that the mineralization or calcification of the bone requires alkaline phosphatase. Okay, this is also a marker of bone disease. Similarly, there is a non-collagen protein present in the bone. It is called osteocalcin osteocalcin okay these two are markers for bone formations so these are the two broad categories markers of bone resorption markers of bone formation having said that the alkaline phosphatase is the very important marker of the bone disease because telopeptides pyridinium crosslinks hydroxychloroquine we have we should have a sophisticated lab and even so many years they have not standardized all these tests but alkaline phosphatase is very easily it can be done in almost all lab okay so that means we will mainly focus on bone alkaline phosphatase rather than this telopeptides peridium crosslinks or hydroxychloroquine or osteocalcin because it's not standardized and also it requires sophisticated lab instrument reagent and so and so okay. and also it is maybe expensive for the patient for the research we can do all this but we will focus what is this bone alkaline phosphatase so before that we will study what is this alkaline phosphatase alkaline phosphatase it is an enzyme Okay, alkaline phosphate is an enzyme actually which hydrolyzes organic phosphate or phosphate tester at alkaline pH. Okay, so it's the optimum pH is between 10, 9 to 10. So alkaline pH. So it is optimum pH for this enzyme is it is active 
at alkaline pH, especially maximum activity seen in between 9 and 10. Okay. It hydrolyzes organic phosphorus, phosphate or phosphorus esters and generates phosphate or inorganic phosphate. Thereby it helps in mineralization or calcification of the bone. And this enzyme is a metalloenzyme. That means it contains zinc. Zinc as a metal. This enzyme is always associated with zinc. And this enzyme, alkaline phosphate, phosphatase enzyme present in many tissue like bone. Then we call this bone alkaline phosphatate, phosphatase. It is also present in liver. Okay, these two are the major organs, bones, liver. Apart from this, it is also present in intestinal mucosal cell, also present in kidney and it is also present in placenta during pregnancy also this enzyme is expressed placenta that means this enzyme present in many tissue the major tissues or organs are bone liver intestine kidney and placenta so all these enzymes which are present or liberated or expressed from these organs they are called isoenzymes. So that means alkaline phosphatase has got many isoenzymes. So what is isoenzymes? Isoenzymes are same form of enzyme, catalyze, differ, same reaction, but they differ with respect to their amino acid composition or maybe electrophoretic mobility or amino acid content or composition or number of amino acids or type of amino acids. Okay. So we will see enzymes later in separate video. Now we will focus on alkaline phosphatase. It hydrolyzes organic phosphate to inorganic phosphate. Okay. And the optimum pH is between 9 to 10. So these isoenzymes which are expressed by different organs can be separated by different method like heat stability or heat lab label or uh, electrophoresis. By electrophoresis, they are classified into different types like alpha 1 alkaline. So, the standard abbreviation for alkaline phosphatase is ALP. Okay. This is the standard abbreviation for alkaline phosphatase, ALP. So, alpha 1 alkaline phosphatase, again alpha 2 alkaline phosphatase, pre beta pre-beta alkaline phosphatase, gamma alkaline phosphatase, there are many leukocytes, so many, many other alkaline phosphatase. For the sake of understanding, I will explain only these four. So these, they are classified based on their electrophoretic mobility. Okay. This alpha-1 alkaline phosphatase, which is released from biliary canaliculi, okay, which is released from biliary canaliculi. That means whenever there is any obstruction to the biliary canaliculi, that means obstructive jaundice, we will see rise in this alpha-1 alkaline phosphatase. Similarly, alpha-2, again there are two. One is heat labile, heat labile, that means it is not withstanding heat. Another one is heat stable heat stable, heat stable, okay. Alpha 2 alkaline phosphatase, there are two type of alkaline phosphatase, alpha 2 heat labile and heat stable. Heat labile, that means it, it cannot withstand heat, is actually expressed from liver, okay. And heat stable is expressed in the placenta during the pregnancy. So, it is a misnomer. Heat stable means it cannot withstand high heat because every enzyme has got their optimum temperature. But compared to liver alkaline phosphatase, this placental alkaline phosphatase can withstand more heat, more temperature, maybe for more than 65 degrees centigrade for more than half an hour. Whereas this liver alkaline phosphatase is it will be destroyed at 65 degree centigrade temperature. So that is the meaning. And pre-beta alkaline phosphate, this is important for us, which is expressed in the bone. Okay. So bone alkaline phosphatase is pre-beta. This alpha beta is nothing but based on the electrophoresis 
mobility mobility they have classified alpha means which will migrate very fast in the electrophoresis alpha 1 alpha 2 beta gamma so gamma usually express from the intestinal mucosal cell intestinal mucosal cell so any disorder related to intestine like obstructive colitis or ulcerative colitis where gamma alkaline phosphatase will be elevated okay so alkaline phosphatase is an isoenzyme it catalyzes the reaction in alkaline ph it is a zinc containing enzyme it express in many tissue many organs so they are called isoenzymes so we have pre beta alkaline phosphatase which is expressed in the bone okay so bone alkaline phosphatase is the biochemical marker of the bone so we have to focus on this bone alkaline phosphatase this is one of the isoenzyme when you draw blood and if you take blood collect the blood sample and analyze alkaline phosphatase that is total alkaline phosphatase it includes liver alkaline phosphatase bone alkaline phosphatase maybe some amount of intestinal alkaline phosphatase and also which is alkaline phosphate expressed from the biliary canaliculi okay so this bone alkaline phosphatase is also other name is pre beta pre beta alkaline phosphatase this is actually this alkaline phosphatase is present in the membrane of the osteoblast so this is very important point osteoblast membrane bound that means this alkaline phosphate is always present in the membrane of the osteoblast so osteoblast membrane bound enzyme and it it, it helps or associated associated with calcification or mineralization of the bone associated with calcification calcification so there is very high amount of increase bone alkaline phosphatase that is pre beta alkaline phosphatase or simply you can say alkaline phosphatase because when you collect blood you cannot say it is pre beta after doing electrophoresis or separation then only we can say so we will keep this in mind so if very high amount of alkaline phosphatase expressed in bone disease okay alkaline phosphatase elevation is also seen in obstructive jaundice or gall stern obstruction or liver disorder okay but very high amount maybe 10 to 25 times of normal so the normal alkaline phosphatase level so alp the total alp it is not bone okay total alp level is normally it is 45 to 125 42 to 125 international units per liter this is the normal level so so the high amount may be more than 10 times or 400 or 25 times of alkaline phosphatase elevation in the blood seen in bone disease okay bone disease may be you can i can write here bone disease okay it could be pages it could be pages this is of the bone or osteomalacia osteomalacia that is in adults in children it is called rickets deficiency of vitamin d even malignancy osteosarcoma osteoblastoma like metastatic bone disease osteoblastoma osteosarcoma all these are bone disease so in this bone disease there is drastic or high amount of alkaline phosphatase what is the reason this is mainly due to increase osteoblastic activity increase osteoblastic activity in all this disease there will be increase osteoblastic activity we know that this enzyme is present in the surface of the osteoblast so whenever there is increase bone osteoblastic activity there will be enormous amount of alkaline phosphatase the, the number one reason for drastic increase in alkaline phosphatase is due to increase osteoblastic activity that means in all this is there is osteoblast they try to rebuild the bone rebuild the bone 
why they try to rebuild the bone because of uncontrolled maybe uncontrolled osteoclastic activity okay in all this there may be a abnormal osteoclast activity so what osteoclast will do bone resorption so when there is continuous bone resorption or abnormal bone resorption definitely osteoblast try to rebuild that bone so because since alkaline phosphatase is present in the surface of the osteoblast so there will be increase expression of this alkaline phosphatase to the blood so this total elevation of alkaline phosphatase is due to increase in the bone alkaline phosphatase okay. similarly if you take obstructive joint again there will be elevation of alkaline phosphatase that alkaline phosphatase elevation is due to alpha 1 alkaline phosphatase which is present in the biliary canaliculi similarly any liver disease again alpha 2 alpha 2 heat lapai so bone disease the take away take home message in this presentation enormous amount of alkaline phosphatase elevation in bone disease due to increased osteoblastic activity that's about biochemical markers of bone disease here we have i have mentioned osteocalcin it is a non collagen protein okay so only one marker you need to focus is bone alkaline phosphatase for biochemical markers of the bone disease and this bone alkaline phosphatase as i mentioned it is due to increase osteoblastic activity so alkaline phosphatase this normal level is for adult whenever you take or you measure alkaline phosphatase in children growing children there will they have high amount of alkaline phosphatase because growing children they have more osteoblastic activity Okay, this normal reference range is only for adults, 42-125 international units per liter. Thanks for watching.